I just recently moved out of my crib. I really wanted to lock in with Bay, so I was like, hey, let me just go ahead and move out of my crib. I had a crib, four cars. I was like, how bad do you want to be successful? And I looked in the mirror and I said, uh, I want it bad. Bad enough to give up everything. So me and Bay are one. Technically, I'm homeless. I have a home. There's a studio. Let me take y'all around the school. Oh, we got my belongings that I'm consolidating. This is where I get all my sleep back. You see that cot? I get all my sleep right there. Five star. That's my bedroom. <laughs> see this? That's my office. See this? It's my workspace. <laughs> see this? It's my closet. You got a plan. You got a plan showers. Plan when you're gonna make your meals. Plan when you're gonna meal prep. Cause they don't have a, they don't have nothing here, but like a fridge, microwave and stuff like that. But, <laughs> too bad. A house ain't a home anyway. And a house is not a home when there's no one there. I got those vocals. All right, let's go brush our teeth. <laughs> Living in the studio isn't really that bad, bro. You just gotta really do a good job planning. In the mornings, I try to take my men's multivitamin, be complex. And then I've been taking this 5-HTP, um, supposed to release serotonin. You gotta do it like the YouTubers. Uh, brain, mood, sleep, probably placebo, but hey. It's worth a shot. Somebody told me about it, so I was like, all right, I'm gonna take it. Vegan reds and greens. Code MMK20. Support my bro Melvin, my coach for my prep. Got my BCAAs. And then I got my pure isolate. Low calorie, low um, carb uh, protein powder. So I'm actually running out. So I need to get some new, some new, new. Nothing worse than having a handful of stuff and having to walk to the common area. So in this junk, pack my containers, shakers, oatmeal, all the stuff that I need so I can just, my scale too, all the stuff that I need so I can just be real efficient, make my meal, get out of there so nobody suspects a thing. Come with me. And I had a dream that someday I would just fly, fly away. And I always knew I couldn't stay. So I had a dream that I just fly away. I've been on my own for a minute. Is it only me out here? Searching for the place to begin it. Is it me? Is it you? Is it fear? Let's see what we got today. We got 225 protein, we got 200 carb, and we got 38 fat to play with today. This meal has 67 grams of carbs, 15.5 grams of fat, and 62.5 grams of protein. Deliciousness. Standing on the line I was given. People stand at me why I'm here. I look so rough right now. I literally been at my desk since breakfast. But we still working. What I try to do is I try to bunch all of my errands together around the time I gotta go leave the studio so I can work out, post office, do all my little runs. Then I shower, come back to the studio and I just kick it so I don't gotta leave too much. No cap. I ate that food too fast. <laughs> <laughs> Not a crumb left in sight on that motherfucking plate. Boy, we got the apparel custom. We got our stealth shorts. We got our, I don't know what you call these. There we go. Look cool. We got cool designs on them. Time. No one seems to think that I fit in. But I don't want to be like them. No, cause I don't want to be like them. Cause I know that I know that I. I had a dream that some
someday I would just fly, fly away And I always knew I couldn't stay So I had to dream that I'd just fly away, away Before I head back to the stew, stop at my... Hey man, shout out my bro Frank, who been letting me shower at his crib intermittently. He's been a lifesaver. About to hop in the shower, head back to the stew, eat my dinner. And then I think I got like a little snack before bed. But we making it work. Let me see if we can get the back. Ah, look at those guns. That boy swole. Body is clean. Look at how my shoes is on my foot. Can't have a productive evening without having a clean body. That boy smell like he ready to work. So for dinner we have four grams of grams, four ounces of spinach. We have six ounces of 99 ground turkey, and we have six fluid ounces of white rice. I'm actually very fatigued. Ooh, bam. Me is tired. I hope my way in tomorrow is good. I gotta take a thumbnail. Fuck. How do I look like stand up a little bit more? Today marks 11 days since I moved out of my crib and moved into the studio. Honestly, I feel pretty solid mentally. I feel real purposeful. I'm in my groove now. Um. I'm just blessed to be able to have a studio that I can come to and stay at as a safe haven. There's a lot of people who move out their cribs and they don't got no home, they don't got no family, no friends, but I'm just truly grateful that I have like friends that and family that no matter what happens, they'll always like support me and always be there for me and be there to help me out. So that's the one thing that I can say. I'm just grateful for my tribe, first and foremost, no matter what. But the future is unpredictable. Like I always say, all I can control is what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. And my actions will determine my outcomes. So that's just how I feel about it. I got one more meal left, but I don't feel like recording it. So I'm gonna just take y'all through what my snack is gonna be. Two rice cakes, yogurt, two scoops of protein powder. I'm gonna take one of the scoops and I'm gonna put it in my yogurt, swirl it around. A little cheat code for y'all if y'all want a little sweet treat off late. I had the Gatorade at the gym because I was very dehydrated. I think I'm 11 calories short, two carbs under, three grams of fat under, two grams of protein under, which isn't too bad. I got as close as I could. Vitamin A through the roof, calcium through the roof, vitamin C through the roof. Overall, really good day. Really content with that. Thank you for tapping in with my full day of eating. I will see you guys tomorrow when I check in. Ciao. Oof. Saturday morning. Hey, Siri, how many days until October 21st? It's 70 days until then. We got 70 days. That means we got 10 weeks left. If math, math the way that it's supposed to. 10 weeks out, man. I feel pretty good about this this past week. I was really on schedule, really on point with the lot. Just, just hope the way in, <laughs> the way in says the same. Of course, I'm sleeping on my little five star cot. I'd rather sleep on a cot and chase my dreams than stay at a five star hotel and live a life that's not for me. But that's just me. Let's see where we at right now. Two hundred and three pounds.